I've got my hands on OpenAI's new deep research agent, and I'm going to show you in this video exactly what you can use it for if you're a business owner to create huge, really useful reports about your business, for your business. And also, if you're looking to start a new business, then I think that deep research can really, really help you. So by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to use it and to get the most out of it, because you can just put in a simple prompt and get a report, but there's a way to to get even more better valuable information from deep research. So let's talk about what ChatGPT deep research is good for if you are a business owner. One, market and competitor analysis reports. That's really, really useful. Investment and funding research if you're looking for investors. Then SEO and content planning strategies. Things like that, really, really useful for a small business owner that you would normally be paying out for, for researchers, a, a lot of money to spend a lot of time, might be a week, two weeks for someone to produce a really good report for you in your business. And then finally, identifying profitable niches and other opportunities for your business. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've used already and the reports that I've generated. And then I'm going to show you how you can make a really good prompt for deep research to use. So first of all, let me give you a, a sample here of a market uh, strategy competitor analysis report that I created. It is 28 pages long and this was all done through deep research automatically it took 14 minutes which is incredible all of these links here that you can see in the kind of red color they're all they're all links going to the sources so it gives all of the sources as well and it's really really thorough look at these headings best niches and industries to target and what I think it would be really good at is if you're already in business there may be areas and you know uh, countries even that you've never thought about targeting and so it will help you to unlock some extra revenue for your business uh, here we are the competitive analysis and then it goes through different chatbot platforms out there in my case and obviously you will have your own competitors which we can tell them about so that it doesn't have to go out and find them all if you know you your competitors then you can just tell deep research as soon as you go to use it and then it will make sure it really researches them during its deep research process and then it in my case it's actually showing me how I can differentiate my business against my competitors so it's finding weaknesses in my competitors and going well they haven't got this you have so you need to put that into your marketing more and that is invaluable and for two hundred dollars a month which sounds like a lot if you are in business or you know you're going to start a business then I encourage you to sign up I mean we don't get any affiliate commission I'm not telling you that for money here this is a straightforward recommendation because two hundred dollars is super cheap for what this can do for your business and perhaps what it could save you in terms of mistakes about to go into a new business that you maybe shouldn't do because it's um, declining after the research. You can see that. So marketing strategy and best channels, you can see it's telling me here. Really, really good. And it understands all about my business as well because I also put a link to that in the prompt. So let's go over to deep research and I'll show you uh, the kind of prompt that you can put in. This is a standard prompt. I've just taken this one now. Here we go. And this one says, I want to conduct or identify profitable business opportunities in 2025, conduct in-depth research on emerging and underserved niches with high demand but low competition. That makes a lot of sense. Consider trends in e-commerce, SaaS, which is software as a service, AI-driven businesses and service-based industries provide data-driven insights, projected growth, consumer behavior, all of those things there. And if you want this prompt, I'll gladly put it in the uh, description underneath. And then all you do is literally just press this button right here and it will start researching and it will say waiting and then we just kind of leave it. But if it needs some clarifying questions like this, then give it the answer because it will really help it do a better job for you. And you can see the questions that it's got here. Uh, are there specific regions or global markets? What level of investment are you considering? These are all great questions. And then you'll just literally put one, what regions say Europe, and then two, and so on. And just go through all of those like that until you've done it. 
and then press uh, go. Now to save you waiting around and watching that process which will take a while, what we'll do is we'll just go over to some of my other ones and uh, this was one that I really really liked here. This was for some research I did just uh, out of interest here. Let me just get it up. Uh, that was use cases. Here we are. This was a way to create a really really good prompt. So look at this. I put can you help me write a prompt for deep research that will help me research starting an online coffee sales business. My coffee sales I mean selling coffee beans by subscription uh, to people in the UK. And now I could have written that out and just said hey deep research please you know go ahead and find out all about the coffee market online in the UK and it would have probably asked me some clarifying questions but if I come in with a really really solid prompt like this look at this it's huge and then that is going to get you a better result for absolute sure. I mean, just take a look at the quality of this prompt here. So I'm researching how to start an online coffee subscription business in the UK, focus on selling high quality coffee beans, and then it's got market research, competitor analysis, sourcing and supply chain, subscription model and pricing, logistics. All of this stuff would have taken ages, even technology and website setup, financial planning. What a prompt. And now, of course, we can just go ahead put that into deep research and then leave it to get on with the job unless again it's got some more things that it wants to go over but I think that's pretty good it just wants to clarify a couple of things there there you go well structured research request it says it even says it's a good prompt now while we're waiting for that report if you're interested in learning about chat GPT then you might like my free group here with uh, I think 11,600 members in now it's free to join and everybody in here is an AI enthusiast, small business owner, and everybody's keeping each other updated with what's going on in the world of AI. So I encourage you to come along and join and just go and have a little look and get involved because it's really going to keep you on top of the emerging trends with AI. And there's a link underneath this video for you to go and join. And done. Here is our online organic coffee subscription business research. It took 15 minutes and it's managed to find this information from 19 different sources. So huge. Now in, in the report, if I just zoom in a little bit there, you can see where it's getting the information from. All of the little citation links are there. And, you know, it's fantastic. It tells you just about everything consumer behavior and preferences key demographics and customer profiles and this is like a professional level report in my opinion competitor analysis you know these are the main players for what I want to do for example if I'm selling organic coffee and then it's talked about their pricing models you know unique selling points it, it's gaps and opportunities for differentiation I mean, that's brilliant this could really get you off to a flying start if you looking to start any business having this information ready to go before you even get going could like i say make you change your mind and think actually this isn't going to work or um it could really get you off to a flying start and reduce your risk by making your business as good as possible using this information. And by the way, another little tip, sometimes you don't wanna read it and you know, sometimes you just don't have time to be going through it or sitting or reading and maybe printing it out. But what you can do is just here, you can just press the little read aloud button and then it will get started. Starting an online organic coffee subscription business in the UK, market research and demand, trends in the UK organic coffee subscription market. Interest in organic, sustainably sourced coffee has been surging. The UK is Europe's fifth largest market for organic foods. With and there you go. Fantastic. So what a system. So that was the coffee report. Now let me show you another report that I generated previously, which was for SEO content planning. So if you've got a business that you would like to uh, try and get ranking in the search engines, an online business, then you're going to love this because you can give it your website address and again, it will ask some questions. So up here, I put, can you create an SEO and content strategy planning report for uh, fastbots.ai? And then off it goes. You know, it's asking me all these different questions. I give it the answers and then bang, seven minutes later, 19 sources, we get this uh, great big report here that will really, really help us in terms of on-page SEO, technical SEO, backlink strategy, um, you know, in terms of uh, anchor text to use, all sorts of different stuff, um, blog posts, videos and webinars. It's given us 
all of these ideas to increase our traffic through content. And it's done it in one nice report. Now, if you would like this to be in a PDF or whatever, you can just say to it, you know, please provide the report in a PDF format so I can download it. And then you can just print it out or, or read it or, as a PDF. So I think deep research is going to be really invaluable for a lot of business people. And as I say, $200, to be honest with you, for what it does is neither here nor there. If you're just doing this, if you're just a casual user of ChatGPT and you've no real need for it, then you know you probably don't want to do that just wait until it comes out on pro uh, sorry on pl for plus users because i'm sure even free users will probably get one free use and then um i heard that i think the plus users are going to get 10 deep research reports per month which is you know more than enough for most people and that's only $20 a month so unbelievable uh, value that they're providing here with this and it's using O3 mini of course um, their new one O3 mini high here in the case of the pro to produce these reports so I think it's worth it um, maybe you do too and if it is let me know what you're doing research is on in the chat if you've had a go with it I'd love to know in the comments there sorry I'd love to know what it is that you've used it for it's also really good for just learning stuff so even if you had some interest in, I don't know, keto diets or something, then you could say, you know, here's my age. Here's what I want to try and achieve. I want to try and achieve it with keto diet. Can you please do a full research for me on that and give me a report about what I should be eating and what I should be doing? And then it, it just creates this customized, you know, tutorial stroke report for you um, ready for you to start using so very very powerful new system anyway that's it for this video like it if you did like it and um, there's another AI related video coming in just a second